Hey guys, this is Mike, and you are watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. Uh, it is late October, and I am on the Oak Orchard River near Albion, New York, near Lake Ontario. And I'm here with my buddy Mike and John this weekend, and we're chasing Lake Run brown trout, steelhead, and king salmon. Uh, the king salmon are kind of at the end of their life cycle here. They've been in the river and spawning for some time. There's actually quite a few kings in the river right now and they're dumping eggs all over the place. And that has the browns and the steelhead in here, but Oak Orchard is really known for its large lake run brown trout. These fish are huge. Uh, it's not uncommon for these fish to be over 25 inches, sometimes in the 30 inch and higher range. Just really big, heavy fish. This is where the term football for brown trout comes from. And uh, if you've never been here, you should come check it out. So I am at the St. Mary's Archery Club which is a private organization that owns a property here where you can access, you can pay 10 bucks a day to park and they do a really great breakfast too for low cost and a really great place to access the river. Uh, the pavilions up here behind me, you can see the guys lined up here uh, on the river and just a great place to come fish. So check out St. Mary's Archery Club in Google if you're looking to come up here for the first time. Um, this is probably, I don't know, maybe my fourth or fifth trip to Oak Orchard. And right now, you know, the, the brown trout run is actually in its infancy for this year. It hasn't been as heavy as you would expect for this time of year. Usually around Halloween, November 1st is when the brown trout is just, uh, you know, the brown trout are in here heavy and it's great fishing. But it's been a little slow this year. It could be because of the warm fall that we've had so far but it has really cooled off here the past couple days and I think that's probably going to bring the fish in here this week so if you're up here or plan to come up here first week in November second week in November of this year I think it's probably going to be pretty good fishing so we're going to be here for a couple days I'm going to have my GoPro with me and we'll see what we can get into I want to show you guys though I'm going to be fishing beads for the first time ever this weekend I've never fished with beads had a lot of people tell me about fishing with beads and basically what you're doing is you're taking a what's the equivalent of a craft bead that's mimicking a salmon egg and you are putting it on your tippet and fishing it about an inch and a half to two inches above a bear hook and the idea of fishing a bear hook scares the crap out of me but uh, I'm gonna try it so let me show you guys this bead uh, setup that I'm gonna be drifting here this weekend and then uh, we're going to head out and I got a couple of days to fish here and let's see what we can do. So guys, I'm out here with my Scott Flex fly rod and I got my Guru HD reel I'm going to be using here for these Lake Run brown trout and that's a 10 foot 8 weight. And like I said, this is an example of a bead I've rigged up. This is the first time I'll have ever fished this. So this is a size 8 Mustad hook which you can see down here by the packaging. Uh, that's a size 8 mustad hook and then I have this bead which has been pegged about an inch and a half above the hook. So guys when you're pegging these beads you're going to take this bead and you're going to put it on your line first above the hook and then you tie your hook on and then you're going to use this peg and you're going to put that through the hole in the bead like so and then you're going to pull it tight until it's pinched on there. And then you just use your standard nippers to clip it off on both ends. You just have to be careful you don't cut your uh, tippet material when you do that. But that's how simple it is to peg a bead. So guys, I'm going to take this bead set up. Um, fishing it underneath of a lightning strike indicator. And we're going to head out here on the Oak Orchard River. And uh, we got a lot of open space here at the Archers Club, which is not common to see. Uh, it's raining a little bit here this evening, and we're going to see what we can do. Yeah, you guys got one.
I'm gonna take him over to the bank. Do you mind if I borrow your net for a second? Yeah, take him over to the bank. Do you want a picture? Yeah. Beautiful trout. That's a nice uh, Oak Orchard Brown. Okay guys, so we're out here on Oak Orchard today. We're at the Archers Club. Um, I just hooked into this beautiful brown trout. I don't know how long he is. I think he's probably 20 plus inches, but uh, just a beauty, pretty fat. And uh, I'm gonna put him back now. But I also met oh, these yeah. guys here. This is Connor from, what's your? Uh, Every Angle Angling. Check out Every Angle Angling on YouTube and follow him. And uh, get out here to the Oak Orchard and catch some of these big lake run browns. It's all right, it's not our net. <laughs> there he goes. He's back at it. Rachel, how's it feel to catch? Is this your first? Today? Yeah. Yes. That is a, that is a really it's nice like fish. a big relief. <laughs> what did it take? Um, when you went, my stonefly. Oh, okay. So you got, uh, a bead a you got a bead uh, above a stonefly. Yes. Nice. Very nice. This is like my fourth hookup today and the first one I, I landed. So. Is that right? Yes. Nice hookup, Mike. Me to grab the net. Nice fish. Nice fish, Mike. Thank you. You good to go? Yep. Guys, I just hooked into another fish here with this bead set up. I don't know what it is, but it feels like another good one. And he is flying everywhere. All over this river. Wow, that's a big steelhead. Real nice steelhead. Guys, this is an incredible steelhead I just caught. He's well over 20 inches, and again, you can see the bead setup I'm using. Wasn't 10 minutes after I caught that nice brown trout, I hooked into this guy. What a battle. So guys, just about 10 minutes after I caught that brown trout, I hooked into a steelhead with that same bead pattern. And uh, man, this fish took me on a fight downstream. It was unbelievable. Uh, what a fight. These fish are just incredible. Look at the colors on this fish. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful steelhead. And we'll put him back now. I've been swinging beads here for the past hour and just had a take here in this deep current, so Hoping I can hold this fish on. I have no idea what we're dealing with here. Wow, 
Wow, that is by far, oh my. that's my <laughs> biggest brown trout ever. Oh my gosh. That thing is huge. Oh my word. Oh my word, that is easily my biggest brown trout ever. Wow, that's incredible. Oh my gosh, I wonder how big he is. Um, this is a lake run brown out of Lake Ontario. He's about 24 inches. Look at the kite jaw on that fish. Just a, uh, a gorgeous fish, but uh, we're gonna let him go now. Guys, swinging beads is for real. They really do have that natural salmon egg look and this brute is proof of it. Incredible fish. I think it's a steelhead. It's fighting like crazy. Guys, as the night moves on, these steelheads and browns seem to be moving into the oak. Here's a nice steelhead I just caught. Beautiful, uh, beautiful colors here on this fish. Just uh, really a beautiful fall fish. All right, guys, so John and I just finished up a session here at Burt Dam near Newfane, New York, and Boy, tough conditions today. We thought the rain coming in overnight was going to make the fish movement and the water conditions really good here. And it turned out that we got some fish in the creek, but the problem is there's no water in 18 Mile. 18 Mile, their flows are awful right now. There's hardly any water coming over Burt Dam. The water levels in the creek are very low. You really can't get any type of drift because there is hardly any current moving through the uh, 18 Mile Creek right now. So. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I don't know if the dam posts when they're going to increase water flows, but you might want to check that out before you come up here because it was really tough fishing. We did see some nice browns and some nice steelhead in the creek, but again, they were all spooked because everybody's throwing lines and, and, and flies and lures at them. So, you know, just tough situation. Anyways, we're calling it a wrap on our weekend. Uh, we had a great time at Oak Orchard. Oak Orchard has really good flows right now. Uh, beautiful fishing right now all the fish are in there the browns the steelhead and the salmon great time to be there with these colder temps coming in and this rain that's coming this week I would imagine this coming week and the week after are probably going to be some great fishing for the lake run brown trout they really haven't hit peak there yet and it ought to be really good so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching Wooly Bugged and I'll catch up with you guys next weekend see you later